Hello, fast stringers and knowing lovers. How the devil are you today? Uh, and today we have this um, really kind of like nice, almost like post grunge thing. Well, it's not really, is it? But you, you could put it in there. Uh, I'm going to change it slightly though, because in the example, I'm, I'm doing downstrokes, but um, I've just played with it and it sounds better without the downstrokes. <clears throat> There's no need for them. They could be a bit overbearing and overpowering if you don't um, have enough control. So basically, we're just going to use our fingers to hit that G anyway. Okay, then. So, um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be playing with our thumb, thumb, finger. Yeah. Um, and mostly, we're going to be going A, D, A, G. Kind of like, um, what's that sound like? Boom, 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 boom. It's Metallica, isn't it? Is it? Is it one? I think it is. Dun, 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 dun. Something like that. Anyway, uh, so sorry, I digress. So what we're gonna do is gonna come to the seventh fret on the A string with your index finger right there, uh, and then with your ring finger come down to the ninth fret on the D string. Okay, you're gonna play A, D, A, and then you're gonna hit the open G string. Yeah. So again. A, D, A, open G string. Like fastly, yeah? Okay then, right, so. Obviously gonna do it back here, but I don't wanna go too far backwards. So. Right, and when that's, that, that's ringing out, that G's ringing out, you can slide up to the 10th fret on the A string. If you get that slide, that round slide, it adds to the ambience of it a little bit more, adds to the atmosphere of it a little bit more. So come up to the 10th fret with your uh, index finger and the 12th fret on, so that's it, on the A string and 12th fret on the D string with your ring finger. And do exactly the same thing again. So A, D, A, open G, like firstly. So we have. So as soon as it, as soon as it hits there and reaches that, that 10th fret, you can start the fret, uh, start hitting the note, so. Same thing again. This time we're gonna slide all the way down from the 10th fret, all the way down to the fifth fret. And do exactly the same thing here. So it's the fifth fret on the uh, A string with your index finger, and it's the seventh fret on the D string with your ring finger. And again, A, D, A, ring out the open G. So we have, slide up, slide down. When you hit that note, you reach it, start the riff. Okay, and then down, same thing again. Get that slide in there. Okay, uh, then you're gonna come to the third fret on the A string with your index finger, fifth fret on the D string with your ring finger, and again, A, D, A, G. So, slide back up and start the whole thing again. Oops. So we have. And I recommend taking that, just that philosophy of that kind of like the root, the fifth, um, playing the A, the D, the A, the D, the A, and the G, and just moving that around everywhere. So. Yeah, it works. It's, it's, it's very effective, it's very effective. I think I find that stuff like that doesn't overburden if you're going to use it within the mix of music, playing with other instruments, instruments as well. It doesn't really um, overburden things too much. It's it's quite classy, really, because you can like really just pull back here. You can only, if you want, you can just tap that G string. So it's just in the background. Yeah, hope you enjoyed that in some way, and I shall see you in tomorrow's lesson.